Hey everyone, this is Dr. Mungli. So today's question is about pentose phosphate pathway which is also called as hexose monophosphate shunt. Question goes something like this. A 12 year old Indian boy, so you need to take a lot, note of the origin. Indian boy suffering from malaria was given primaquine along with the chloroquine. A day after primaquine, he develops a hemolytic condition. Most likely cause of the hemolysis is less than normal levels of which of the following. So the options are given here, option A to option E. Now some of the things that we need to take a note in this particular case stem is, it's an Indian boy and this boy has taken a treatment for malaria and the medication that he is taking is primaquine along with uh, chloroquine and he develops hemolytic condition following this. The question is less than normal amounts of each of the following. So now first, it, the first thing is to diagnose what is the condition that this boy is suffering from. So going with the case here, so for this boy is most likely to have glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. Now this glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme, this is the rate limiting and regulated enzyme in pentose phosphate pathway, especially the oxidative phase of pentose phosphate pathway. Now in this particular pathway, so NADPH plus H plus C is synthesized. So the very first enzyme in pentose phosphate pathway, it helps in the conversion of glucose 6-phosphate into 6-phosphogluconolactone. During this reaction, NADPH plus H plus is produced and also there will be release of carbon dioxide whenever glucose 6-phosphate is converted to ribulose 5-phosphate. Now the NADPH plus H plus, it helps in detoxification process. It helps in reductive biosynthesis. It helps in phagocytosis, oxygen independent phagocytosis. It helps in nitric oxide synthesis and also it helps in maintenance of reduced glutathione. We call that as GSH. Reduced glutathione is GSH. Now, when do you see glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency? What all the points related to G6PD deficiency. Now the G6PD deficiency is commonly seen in Mediterranean region and especially it is seen in Africa, Middle East and Southeast Asia. Now that's where is this Indian boy comes in here. So because the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency is commonly seen in India and also any other South Asia including and then Middle East and Africa. Now G6PD is it is coded by a gene which is present over X chromosome. So the inheritance of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme is basically the gene for that is located on X chromosome. So the G6PD deficiency it's an X-linked recessive condition it means males are basically symptomatic and females act as a carrier here. That is why you need to take a note of the sex here and that is male. So it is males are most commonly symptomatic here than females. Females are acting as a carrier. Now, most of the time glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficient patients, they remain asymptomatic unless triggered by some uh, intake of some medicines or some of the foods or chemicals. Now, what is the triggering, what all the triggering agents for glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficient patients to become symptomatic? And that is intake of anti-malarial drugs. That's what is the importance of malaria here. Anti-malarial drugs that is primaquine, chloroquine. So basically they will increase reactive oxygen species and whenever reactive oxygen species are increased, now glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficient patients, they are already having low levels of GSH. Why? Because G6PD deficiency leads to decrease in NADPH plus H plus and because of the decrease in NADPH plus H plus, 
reduced glutathione that is gsh will also be decreased okay so because of this so as you all know that gluco uh, reduced glutathione that is gsh is helpful in neutralizing reactive oxygen species now in g6pd deficiency because there is a deficiency of nadph plus h plus because of that there will be deficiency of gsh so the reactive oxygen species cannot be handled properly so there will be predominance of reactive oxygen species whenever anti malarial drugs are taken and these reactive oxygen species they will damage red blood cell membrane leading to hemolysis so that is why you are going to see hemolytic condition in this boy a day after taking anti malarial drugs what all the other medication that can cause that can act as a triggering agents they can be sulfonamides they can be non sulfa antibiotics they can be certain chemicals like naphthalene they can be even the food components like broad beans or fava beans so it can be acute illness it can be diabetic ketoacidosis so any of these conditions wherever there is increase in reactive oxygen species so that can put a patient into symptomatic condition okay so now the g6pd deficiency how do you see the red blood cells there so red blood cells will be basically smaller than normal so there will be microcytic hypochromic anemia so there will be hinge bodies so this is one of the point that you need to remember in g6pd deficiency hinge bodies hinge bodies are basically this is a precipitated hemoglobin which is arranged or which is attached beneath the cell membrane so this is basically referred as hinge bodies and and you can see that on peripheral smear examination under the microscope and sometimes these precipitated hemoglobins can be taken by macrophages or monocytes and that time rbcs are basically referred as bite cells so this is another characteristic feature of g6pd deficiency so the red blood cells basically you will see bite cells here hinge bodies and also overall the hemolytic picture you are going to see under peripheral blood smear now going with the options so and there are so many other points that uh, that are related with glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency and also there are diagnostic uh, 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 points related to that so just to keep this video short so i'll just di directly jump into the choices here so the question that is asked is most likely cause of the hemolysis is less than normal levels of which of the following so option a glucose 6 phosphate in fact glucose 6 phosphate levels will be more because there is g6pd deficiency so that's not a correct answer then gssg gssg is an oxidized glutathione so gssg it will be in fact increased so we are looking for less than normal levels so gssg is not, it, it is not a correct answer gsh in fact it is decreased in g6pd deficiency so this is a correct answer option c is correct here and in dh plus h plus it is not related with glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase so that is not an op that is not a correct answer here and nadp in fact nadp levels will be in increased and nadph plus h plus levels will be decreased so nadp is not a correct answer so by ruling out all this so we are squaring out gsh as the correct choice for this particular question thanks for watching and if you like the video give thumbs up and also for regular updates you can subscribe to my channel see you next time with other question or maybe with a video based on biochemistry concept take care bye for now